Well, now let's turn to Amy McConaughey for what's gone viral across Africa. Unity among South Africans and Zimbabwe gets its own crocodile hunter. Here's what Africa has been talking about on social media this week. First to Uganda, where one woman is turning the patriarchy on its head after marrying three men and allocating a separate hut to each of them on her compound. Andre Saguti found herself a trending topic on social media after news of the marriages broke. She told a local newspaper that her previous husband was, quote, useless, so she decided to take matters into her own hands, and three new husbands were her solution. The men reportedly have no problem with the arrangement and see her as the head of the family. They even dine together and they obey all of her rules. But some on social media had different opinions of the multiple unions. Benjamin said a woman with three husbands is not only immoral, it's also unheard of in all of Uganda's ethnic groups. While others pointed out the emotional risk involved, tweeting, imagine being heartbroken in threes. Meanwhile, others saw Anne as goals, while Lynn said, if men can have multiple wives, why can't she have multiple husbands? It's only fair. And in Zimbabwe, an 11-year-old girl wrestled a crocodile and gouged its eyes out in a desperate attempt to save her younger friend. The crocodile met its match with Rebecca Munkombwe, who fought the reptile with her bare hands after it tried to drag her nine-year-old friend underwater. The two survived the attack, and many took to social media to applaud the bravery of the young girl. The real-life superheroes that make the human race amazing, said Kondwani. While Kundai wrote, I'm 30, but if my friend gets attacked by a crocodile, good luck, buddy. And the news that has everyone talking this week. South Africans have continued to celebrate their Saturday Rugby World Cup triumph with many echoing Springbok captain Sia Khaleesi's message of unity and strength. Khaleesi and the team posted a video on social media after the match, thanking South Africa for the victory under the hashtag Stronger Together. For a nation suffering from inequality and a growing sense of disillusionment, many saw this as more than just a rugby match, and South Africans rallied around the message of unity. Siamanzi tweeted, sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. And Vusi said, South Africa desperately needed this win. Adding even more symbolic hope to the victory was Khaleesi's role as the first black captain of the Springboks. A black captain will lift the Rugby World Cup for South Africa. A black captain, said Abuka. But it wasn't just a victory for South Africa. The entire continent was celebrating. When Africa wins, we all win. Congratulations, Springboks. Back here in Uganda, we are so proud of you, the Ugandan rugby team tweeted. That's it from us in Nairobi. I'm Amy McConaughey. Join us next week for more on what's trending around Africa, or continue this conversation by following us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at CGTN Africa. Back to you, Beijing.